Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here. We're back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. We got a very special one for you guys today. This is Badlands, created by Tommy T and Floss, and I'm joined here today with Floss. Hey yo! And uh, we're gonna go over this monster's creation today. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, so this was sent in by Tommy T and Floss, and I think it was Tommy that sent it in, and he says, Welcome to Badlands, an exclusive getaway where science fantasy incorporates technology and aesthetic design inspired by 19th century industrial steam-powered machinery. This land was created 100% by Floss and myself. No blueprints were used for any of the buildings. Wow. Just like the... Our, it's our, a taco. Oh. It's a what? There is a taco. Oh, there is a taco? Oh, God. It's yeah. like finding Where's Waldo. Um, yeah, exactly. Just like Thar, our pirate coaster, we wanted to incorporate every possible type of steampunk theme from the intense inverted coaster to the fair and the annual balloon fiesta located in the center of the park. The coaster can be ridden night or day for different experience. Hope you enjoy the coaster ride and park, Johnny. Thank you, as always, from myself and Floss. So uh, this one, uh, I've been having a few guests on recently, and everyone wants me to ride first, ask later. But for this one, I feel like we could talk about it a little bit first, maybe? Or do you want to ride it first? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, no, you can you can pan around, have a look around. There's no, there's no hidden secrets in this one. So we are taking a pretty big FPS hit. And for some reason, sometimes Skype does this, but I feel like I, Skype dropped me a little bit as well. So it's a little bit uh, frame heavy, this one, guys. So uh, forgive me, but there's so much detail going into here. So you guys made this 100%. No blueprints from the workshop except for a taco. <laughs> except for a taco, yes. So I won't tell you <laughs> So I have to find a taco. <laughs> yes. <laughs> People are going to be screaming at their monitors. Um, it's over there! So, um, wow. Uh, how long did you guys work on this for? Oh, gosh. About a month, maybe? Three weeks to a month? And uh, did you... Started like it just after the... So. Did you guys pass it back and forth, or did you guys build blueprints and have one person assemble it? No. Much every day. And so, this one, Tommy said, right after that, he had an idea to do a steampunk. When I'd be up for doing it from the beginning, a western steampunk. Mm -hmm. And then said, right, off you go, you've got to do all the terrain. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! Gosh, okay. And then he <laughs> built the coaster to the terrain. Which is quite unusual. So I built the whole land, and then yeah, then he did the coaster to it, and then we just passed it back and forth, and each did buildings, and each did scenery. Wow. So you just passed it back and forth. That's really cool. So is this a train? Oh, you got a train going on in here. Yeah, just for really just because it fit the fit the theme, fit the scenery, and we liked it in the background. Didn't really care about getting the people anywhere. Right. Very cool. So, what was your inspiration for this? Is there any reason you guys wanted to tackle steampunk? Is it just because it's something you haven't tried yet? Because I know Tommy hasn't tried steampunk. It was it was his idea. He had it already. Well, I think well he was doing Thor, and then said, "I've got a new idea. Do you want to help me <laughs> with like it?" The witch I couldn't resist doing that <laughs> from a distance. He looks okay. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh wow! The rain was still poking through. <laughs> And I like the little gears made out of terrain. You did all that? Yes, but the draw distance is rubbish on them. So if you yeah. go quite far away, they do look weird. Oh, Tommy did do the waterfalls. I can't. I didn't oh, do boy. those. That's a lot of emitters. So what was your uh, favorite thing on this uh, creation? Your favorite thing to do on this? My favorite thing to do? Well, it was the terrain, really. I've never done... Or and being tasked to do an entire map. Right. And so that was really fun. Uh, what was um, the thing that Tommy was most ecstatic about? Do you know? Like his, if you go to the to the left, the entrance, his entrance, train station, this building. This is my favorite building in the whole park. Tommy likes to do these big elaborate entrances. Yeah. Is it this That's one or favorite. this one? Oh, no, the one you were just on there. Oh, okay. but do you see my sign? I do oh, like steampunk sign. Very nice. Oh, and oh, see something else? 
Ah, oh, the Targo! <laughs> and he's got gear gear face. Yeah. <laughs> Steampunk Taco. Thanks, Taco. <laughs> so, I'm gonna ask you what, what your biggest struggle was. And I'm gonna assume you mean it was gears, the terrain. The terraform, the, the, yeah, the terraform gears were... They were... They were a pain to do. Okay, so other. So once you get one, I got the I sort of got the rhythm of how to do it. But right. Were... So, your, what, what was your second biggest struggle next to the terrain? Cause deleting I... things accidentally. Deleting things. I deleted uh, possibly two, three buildings in this. Because yep. for for me, I, I I just I can't wrap my mind around steampunk. So for me, a lot of uh, if I were working on this, I think the hardest thing that for for me would be how to make these contraptions look believable. Well, Google, Google was was my friend. A lot, <laughs> lots of images, and also just for me, I, I really wanted things to look like they worked. So right. even if, like, I made a little organ somewhere, and I wanted it to make look make it look like that goes into the steam, and the steam then pushes that. Is that a bicycle that. balloon? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Full I built. I was really pleased with the ring toss. If you look down at the ring toss sort of yeah oh, there and then i found the little shoes. signs and sunk them down i was quite oh, pleased with that that's great <laughs> i love Turn it around, go 180 you'll see you go get... 180 degrees now <laughs> i'm just looking at the prizes that's hilarious oh, i see <laughs> yeah. steampunk people dr like. johnny's miraculous elixirs oh <laughs> cures any ailment and then a candy floss Oh, so that's like my little signature. That's great. Oh wow, that's amazing. Well, this, this started with okay, we're just going to do a steampunk, a bit westerny, and then we added a bit more Victorian, sort of English steampunk into it. I suppose my English influence, and then the few balloons, and then Tommy went. Oh, let's just go nuts and just fill the sky with balloons. <laughs> and then just kept, the, the idea just kept changing and growing. And then it was right. Let's make this big balloon fiesta, and then we can make a carnival. And so it was completely different than what we expected it was going to be at the start. Was this your idea? Yes. Because <laughs> instead of bones, you've used <laughs> little wagons. I like to cover everything. Yeah. But you'll notice a lot of bells and. A lot of pipes, a lot of cogs, which is all. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like doing that and things like that. This is yeah, this cool. One. But I think that's a big factor in the FPS tanking. Are yeah. the hundreds of cogs. Yeah, that waterfall over there will do it too. Yes, um, it will, yeah. And these balloons, how many pieces? Balloons. Like, oh my god, 4,000 <laughs> pieces for one balloon? Now, yeah. did you upload, like, are these 4K blueprints? Did you guys upload these all to your workshops? Yes, yeah. So if you guys want some fun sci-fi buildings, balloons, and other things, uh, there will be a link down in the description to both Tommy and Floss's workshops, and you guys can have uh, some of this stuff for your parks. Very cool. All right, is there anything else you want me to take a closer look at before we jump on the coaster? No, I think everything else is really seen from best from the coaster. Okay, perfect. I think, yeah, I think everything I else. I think you did a, a wonderful job on the terrain, by the way. I like the the gully running through the center, um, little canyon. Oh, I did like the dry riverbed there, where you're where it's sort of yes to the bottom left. Yeah, it's very nice touch. Oh yeah. Very like good. to the other side as well. It gets even drier, and it's like a. Yeah, oh. quite pleased with that. Yeah, it's very cool. Then we did cover up a lot of the terrain. At one point, when I built the terrain, it was, oh no, can we not put anything on it? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> now, uh, for the, if you guys do want to, in the future, another exploration coaster, either you or Tommy or both of you, uh, definitely try playing around with the c new custom biomes. It would be kind of cool to sprinkle some snow on the highest peaks and stuff like that. Yeah, I did think about doing that for this one and was testing it out with some of the desert things and some of the out but a little bit of red rock yeah. touches of red rock yeah this nice. is what i wanted to do was have a bit of the red but then i just go full grassland 
All right, so let's take a look at the coaster. What kind of coaster is it? Inverted? This looks like it's uh, inverted four-seater rival. Uh, we got a 6.25 Excitement, a 4.38 Fear, and a 1.38 Nausea. 4,000 meters in length and 210 seconds in duration. Very cool. Um, for this, is it open to the public? I guess you have a thousand guests in here. Should be. All right, so there's gonna be guests on this one. This one's in the station, ready to go. All right, hopefully the FPS isn't too bad. We'll hope for the best here. I have had reports. It's um. What, heavy on. what this will really benefit from is a 60 FPS video. Maybe I'll try and squeak one out for you guys. That would be amazing. Uh, it takes a little bit of work to do that with the... Oh. I gotta turn the volume up. I'll see if I have time. If I do, you'll see one come up right after this as 60 FPS. Uh, I'll see if I can make it happen. But a little busy this week. All right, here we go. Right off the bat, looking at the big waterfall. I might need to turn it down just a bit. The gears, the, the cube, you pick the cube as the song. It's very loud. That is one epic lift. I like how you're passing by all these airships. Kind of reminds me of the Galcian's Arcadia Rising, but Western. Yeah. yeah. I like those sci-fi pieces for the windows. That's a very nice touch. They feel very steampunk. Yeah, I like that. Oh boy, look at that drop. You should have had a whole bunch of gears at the bottom, so it looks like you're gonna fall into gears. Oh yeah. Like a grinder. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Oh wow. Tommy loves his underground volcanoes. I, I assume he did that? Did, yeah. Oh, holy moly. Oh, my. That's incredible. Lots of coffee and pasting. <laughs> Going through and trying to make sure. Wow. I close that door. <laughs> So much going on. Oh, I love the chains holding that up. Did you do that? Very, yeah. I don't know. It's very realistic, but um, it's a great idea. Uh, yeah, these custom supports are awesome. These are Tommy supports here, like this. My iron bridge. Wow. Holy moly. I think to do that at the end of the coaster. <laughs> organ playing. 
I do, I hear that. That is incredible. Should we do a cinematic run? Yeah. Very well done. Alright, here we go. But this should be at half past five. Oh, should I change the time? Uh, it looks. I think it looks its best at, at half past five. It's the it's the timing we decided. Yeah. Do you want me to change and the time? And especially for the cinematic. If it, yeah, if it's not half. There we go. Yeah. Great. The cannons firing on those. Battleships. I don't know what I called them in the workshop. find a picture on Google of a steampunk airship. I want to build that. Hmm. Oh no. There we go. Ah, trees. Oh, trees. <laughs> <laughs> Cinematics not working. There we go. This part is so crazy. building somewhere else, deleting something, a whole building on the other side of the map. Wow, it's a beautiful shot. Have a look at the sunset with the balloons. Mm -hmm. I love seeing all those balloons as they go upside down. Beautiful work, you guys. Absolutely Thanks. amazing. Definitely a front runner for the top ten, I think. It was, it's fun. It was really fun to do. Uh, Nothing ever, yeah, I've never, never done before. I'll see about trying to get a 60 FPS video out on this because I think it would be really nice to see it butter smooth because there's so many details going on and at uh, between 10 and 15 FPS, it's hard to catch it all. So maybe I'll, I'll play around with that. And see if I can get something out. That'll be amazing if you've got if you've got the time to do it. I will do my best. Uh, absolutely amazing work, both Tommy T and Floss. You guys are killing it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, thanks to thanks to Tommy as well. I couldn't do this. I think my skills at the game have got a lot better since since working with him. Yeah, you guys have been on a freaking killing spree here with Thar and now this. So I don't know if you guys got something it's, planned in the works. We do, but... Yeah, yes, it's um, it's in the making. It's a little bit about. Uh, oh, you cut out there. But, uh, oh, it's yeah, it's in the making. Um, it's on pause at the moment, but yeah, I think we'll get back to it. 
I didn't actually take a look at it at night night. Let's see this. Oh, quick pan around. These light up pretty bright. Did he add these lights or is that a part of the prop there? It's interesting. There's a line sunk in. I should take it apart. Bam. There it is, everybody. Badlands by Tommy T and Floss. Absolutely amazing work, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this one, Floss. It's really good to get Thanks your input me. anytime. And um, that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight, everybody. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for joining me, Floss. Thanks. And, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now. Bye.